this will be my seventh and last review of the Husqvarna auto mower that I've had on trial now for about three months and my overall impression in a nutshell is absolutely delighted with it if you look at this lawn see the quality of this lawn now very green very lush very easy just been mowed by the mower flashing his eyes at you there if I rub my hand over it you'll see there is absolutely no sign of grass cuttings it cuts the grass so finely that it disappears right down into into the lawn absolutely brilliant i thought for my last video i'd give you a quick physical overview of the unit so this is the mower here big stop button press that lid opens the first thing i ask you for is the uh, pink coat which i'm not going to show you the unit itself physically completely made of plastic apart from the cabling and uh, drive shaft on the back here we have a look underneath it's very light I can pick it up with one hand um, blades three of them tiny little blades much like a drum mower which are covered in one of my videos and they're here they can move side to side that from there to there is all the cuts cut on both sides because sometimes they turn both ways and there's three of these one two currently dangling down in there. Um, at the front, two casters. And the reason it has two casters and it's very lightweight at the front is that when it meets an obstacle, you can very easily bump up the obstacle. It's very, very light at the front. It does that a lot. And all the drive and all the weight is at the back of the unit here. These wheels can be upgraded. I haven't needed to upgrade them but they do do uh, sturdier off-road type wheels uh, that I haven't needed. The drive unit is housed in here. That drives both these wheels. Uh, they can turn in opposite directions to get it to spin on the spot, or it can do a gradual curve by turning one higher than the other. There's no differential, uh, they're both individually driven. Uh, the blades here last, mine I've only just changed so mine have lasted three months. And to be honest, they didn't really need changing. They, was, they were still cutting now. These two little points here are for charging it. It plugs itself into this docking station where they make contact there and there, and it charges. And that light there tells me that the loop that goes around the uh, entire lawn is intact. Uh, these lights at the front, purely for show. Uh, they come on the top model, they're LED, don't know what they're for really, but it looks quite cool at night to look out and see it going around. The body is in two parts, you've got the main body, which is solid, and then you've got this outer body, which wobbles around all over the place. And the reason for that is that if it hits an obstacle, it then presses, and you'll see it close up a bit there, so it's pressing contactors inside to let it know that it's hit something that will back off and then try and go around it. In addition, there's these two sensors there and there, which I presume send out an echo and a, and a receiver of some sort, uh, probably sonic, and that will tell it whether it's approaching a brick wall and to slow down and approach gradually until it feels a bump. So it does speed up and slow down as well, it's very intelligent. Other buttons on here uh, OK, back, start, menu, we've done is park. So if I press park and I tell it to park until further notice oops did that wrong park park until further notice okay close hatch to park and this mower should disappear off into that little uh, charging unit while it's doing that if you have a look at the lawn have a look at the quality of it I am really really pleased with it and I will not be sending it back cannot recommend it highly enough really really clever really well designed and surprisingly um, from my first impressions very robust too